Hello and welcome to this seminar on empirical banking and finance. My name is Gregor Weiss, I'm a professor of finance here at Leipzig University. And over the next couple of videos, I'm going to present to you some ideas on how to do your own empirical research in banking or in finance, um, for example, as part of your bachelor's thesis. And in this first video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the outline of this course, um, the um, syllabus and the organization if you're taking this class in Leipzig. And in this first video, we'll already talk a little bit about what empirical research in economics is all about before we then turn to research questions. What are research questions in economics and empirical economics in particular? What is the research design and how should it look like if you're doing empirical research. In the second section, we'll talk about databases, how to come up with data, how, what your data sample should look like and how you should prepare a raw data sample. In the third chapter of this course, we'll um, be discussing descriptive statistics and first plots as a way of introducing the reader to your data sample and uh, highlighting some unique features of your data. And in the rest of the class, we'll be talking about regression analysis. Regression analysis and all its variants are the main method uh, and the main toolbox of, uh, for doing research in empirical economics. So we'll talk about regression analysis here in chapter four. Then we'll turn to standard errors and identification issues in chapters five and six before lastly we'll make sure that our empirical results are robust to changes in methodology and maybe changes in data. And that will be the robustness checks section here in chapter seven. So that's the outline of this course. Um, let's talk a little bit about the specifics of this class if you're taking it in Leipzig. Um, so the course outline, e-learning, the course textbook, and the main goals of this class. Um, the outline is such that we have three hours per week, one hour of this short videos here um, via e-learning, and we have two hours in class seminar. Uh, it's an optional class in our bachelor's degree in economics and business administration. You can get five ECTS credit points, and the assessment is done via a seminar paper that should be 12 to 15 pages long. Um, the details can be found in the PDF file that is uploaded to my website if you're taking this class at Leipzig. Um, the material, so these slides and all the papers we'll be discussing in the seminar, uh, they can be downloaded from the course website. Um, and if you're watching this right now on YouTube, you should have found the videos on YouTube naturally. Um, and if you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email at vice at leipzigde Okay, so if you like these videos um, and if you have these slides as a PDF, you could click on the YouTube uh, button and subscribe to the channel. Um, but you're watching this right now, so this is obsolete. You can also subscribe to our mailing list if you're interested in receiving uh, job advertisements and uh, uh, job positions and job postings. And um, perhaps more interesting and more useful to you right now, if you're watching this video, uh, are the textbooks that I'll be using in this class. The first one is Microeconometrics of Banking. It has a special focus on banking. It was written by De Griese, Kim and uh, Angina, uh, three very um, renowned um, colleagues in empirical banking. And uh, it is a collection of papers that um, presents to you different uh, methodologies, different ways of tackling empirical problems in uh, banking research. The second one is a pretty standard um, econometrics textbook. It's uh, the Wooldridge uh, Introductory Econometrics. Uh, very, very good introduction to econometrics. Uh, not so much with a special focus on finance or banking, just on general economics, but if you do have a special problem in econometrics, this is the textbook you should go for. Um, same goes with the green econometric analysis, also 
um, more or less a plain vanilla econometrics textbook doesn't have a special focus on finance or banking but again just like the Woolrich textbook if you have a problem that is general in nature in econometrics you should go and take this green textbook um, the econometrics of financial markets Campbell Low McKinley is just like the title suggests it has a focus on financial markets um, but not so much on empirical banking or empirical finance. It also covers topics like um, asset pricing, um, uh, derivative markets for example, but again this uh, is uh, a nice step forward from the general econometrics textbook to uh, textbooks that have a stronger focus on finance. And last but not least, uh, Mostly Harmless Econometrics and Empiricists Companion by Angrist and Pischke, a very very good textbook that has a strong focus on identification issues. You probably don't know yet what identification is. Uh, I'll explain this to you later on. Um, in a nutshell, it is the idea that econometrics can only tell you correlation um, and it cannot tell you causality. You cannot, usually you cannot really establish causality uh, by simple means of econometrics and doing econometric analyses, but you need more and more sophisticated models to show that X does actually drive Y and it is causal and just not by coincidence. And this is a very good book and you can download it actually on the internet. So these are the textbooks. What are the main goals of this course? Um, I want you to learn the ability to first of all evaluate empirical work in banking and finance. You should be able to read empirical research papers and see whether it's a good paper, whether it's a not so good paper, what um, the compelling arguments of the authors are that actually uh, they can show that there is a causal relation between two economic uh, variables. You should be able to plan and perform your own empirical research. We are doing this step by step um, and this again is an introductory class so you should not um, be thinking that you need to uh, be fluent in uh, a statistical software for example. It's about planning your own empirical research and knowing common mistakes, known uh, no common uh, caveats of empirical research and doing better and better as you move along and avoid these mistakes, plan your own first empirical analysis and maybe then move on to your bachelor's thesis and um, do this own empirical analysis in your thesis. So this is the outline of the course and uh, the next video will be about the research question, the research design and uh, coming up with a question that is worthwhile studying.